Morbid Angel Steve Tucker is saying a lot of things. He's saying music these days doesn't seem to have a very high value to a lot of people. Huh. Well, except the death metal fans. So basically what Steve Tucker has realized is that it seems that uh, to me that times are changing dude. The way an album is done and the things like that may change. I don't know uh, that in the next 10 years people will still be going in and doing 10 songs album. I think we're gonna see EPs and singles and things like... Okay, so basically he's saying exactly what everyone has been saying for the past 10 years. He's just saying it a little bit later. <laughs> Music these days doesn't seem to have a very high value to a lot of people, although people are constantly walking around with headphones in their ears, wanting to be entertained. They just don't want to exert any effort themselves to get it or spend any money to get it these days. Luckily, with Death Metal, a lot of fans want the product. They want that product, dude. They want the CD. They want to hold it in their hands. And uh, they want the vinyl. I actually have a cassette of Morbidian's latest record, Kingdom Disdain. I think it's badass. It's really a shame that this format went away because it, this looks fantastic, you know. So basically he's saying, also what I've been saying is that metal fans are still clinging on to, you know, CDs and vinyls. And, you know, I'm a fan of vinyls and the album format myself. But the thing is that the generations are shifting and, you know, these old metal fans, they, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna move on eventually. And by move on, I mean die. <laughs> and, and, you know, the new generation of young people that are used to, you know, Spotify and, you know, music on demand, stuff like, will take over. So it's basically inevitable that we're running into this. Will we see a renaissance when it comes to albums and vinyls and stuff like that? Absolutely, it's already happening. People are buying vinyls, but it's never gonna be the same as back in the day, man. You know, Spotify is here to stay. Uh, then eventually, maybe the format will change into something else. It sucks. For me as a fan of a full album and CD and vinyl, it sucks to see. But, you know, I'm doing my part by releasing my shit on, on, on physical media because, you know, it's important to me. And I know it's important for people to have something and hold something and, you know, claim ownage of, you know, something with music on it. Because that's the problem with Spotify. You don't own the shit anymore. It's about, it's the same with games. You don't own the games anymore if you buy them digitally, you know? That's why I still buy physical copies because I, I like knowing that, you know, I own this game, I played it, it's good, but now I want to sell it if I, if I have to. I mean, I can't sell a digitally downloaded game. So, it, yes, I agree with Steve Tucker. He was maybe a little bit late on that comment, but uh, still a good, valid comment. Camera. If it's a bad product, it's gonna suck. Are you sure you still want to send me the product? And that's where we are today.